a San Francisco woman has led a community mural, mural movement for almost a half century. In fact, you can see hundreds of the murals she's directed throughout the city. Sharon Chin joining us now introduces us to this week's Jefferson Award winner. Fascinating story, Sharon. Yes, the story of Susan Cervantes. Susan runs one of only a handful of community mural arts centers in the country, and she is creating change through her work. Walk around the Mission District with Susan Cervantes, and you cannot miss her artwork. Those were done 40 almost 45 years ago. I mean, that's before people even knew what murals were. Her story begins nearly 50 years ago. The painter was a young mother. Saw that there wasn't any art in the community center. There wasn't any art in the schools. So I started volunteering my time at the community center to do pre-preschool art. Art for kids, then classes for adults, and more. I kept getting requests for murals. So Susan and her husband, Luis, founded the Presita Eyes Muralists Association in 1977. Let me see here. The nonprofit, one of the few community mural art centers in the nation. It's collaborated on more than 700 community murals in the city and Bay Area. Susan led a neighborhood mural project at Garfield Park Swimming Pool in 1980. Kids drew their ideas about life in the sea. And we had uh, the community have input. Then several artists and dozens of volunteers brought the mural to life. Susan's work also brings neighbors together. Gives ownership to the community, gives them a voice, and it, it uh, brightens up their environment. The murals can also make a statement. This is probably one of the original ones from 1984. A group of artists and neighbors filled Balmy Alley with a series of murals about peace in Central America. Susan's contribution? So it's called Indigenous Eyes, War or Peace. A girl's eyes with a skeleton in one and a peace dove in the other. Susan notes how the collaborations bring neighborhood pride. While taggers defaced the pavement, they left the artwork alone. It's community, it's their culture, it's like, so they respect that. Besides mural tours, Susan leads youth and adult painting and mural classes with fees that support the nonprofit, plus special exhibits at the Presita Eyes Mural Arts and Visitor Center. I painted this when he, on his 80th birthday. On this day, she honors her late husband with a Day of the Dead altar. Artist Paula Reyes Melendez sets up another part of the exhibit. She calls Susan an inspiration who's paved the way for female muralists. She has an amazing heart and is very humble, and that always leads everything that she's inspired to do. Are you a painter, too? Uh, no, 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 no. Just appreciating your work. Oh, thank you. So for leading a community mural arts center that's developed creativity and community for more than 46 years, this week's Jefferson Award in the Bay Area goes to Susan Cervantes. Susan says Presita Eyes has also produced murals overseas in Russia and China by invitation. Here in the U.S., the murals are funded mostly by project-based arts grants. Yeah, they're so stunning. Yes, they're beautiful and they bring such a sense of community and pride. Yes, and the colors alone mm -hmm. just make you smile. Yeah. Absolutely, all over the city. All right, thanks, Sharon.